Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're taking a look at the Husky Portable Job Site Workbench. Wait until you see all the cool things we can do with it. Let's get the review started. What's going on everyone? So this is one of those tools that have a lot of cool different functions. I'm going to show you how to set this thing up. Then I'm going to show you everything that it does. But I got a second one here that I'm actually using to set this up on. You can see that this is upside down. You got the legs inside here. We're going to take those out. You got this box right in the middle that contains a bunch of different cool things. I'm going to show you how to set it up right now. So let's take the legs out. All you have to do is when you remove them from the brackets, you screw them down into their designated area. Then when you're done with them, you just put them right back where you found them. And then you can actually move this thing back and forth. So let's put the first one in. All you got to do is push down, twist, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Now, when you want to remove that, just turn it the other way, pull out, and then store them underneath the table. Now, this literally only takes about a minute to do. Very easy to set up. Now, this will also support 1,500 pounds. Now, FYI, these legs are not adjustable when it comes to height. Once you put them in, that's it. The workbench does stand at 32 inches in height. Now don't forget to look underneath this table after you're done assembling it. You got a couple other goodies sitting right here in this box. Now let me open this bad boy up. I'll put them out on the table. I'll show you what you get. Now you're going to get four metal brackets that you can attach to the table and put two by fours in to extend or widen the table. You're also going to get a couple clamps here which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you this here in a bit. That's actually for the router table. And then you get a couple router plates that you can insert and take out very easily. You'll also get a couple screws to insert the brackets, but let's do that now. You can put them on the sides, you can put them on the front, wherever you want them. But I'm going to put them right here on the side. Now, once you figure out where you want these, either on the end or the sides, you can actually attach them with the screws using a screwdriver. Now, just make sure that they're nice and snug once you're done inserting them. Throw your 2x4 up on each side. And if you want, just take the extra screws, throw them right there in the bracket to secure your 2x4s. This is a very cool way to extend that table out to something larger if you need it. Alright, now one of my favorite parts of this table is being able to use the bar clamps. Now these bar clamps do not come with the table itself. You have to buy them separately. But check this out, got some Bessie over here. Let's tighten them down, boom! You can put one on either side. I really like this because it allows you to support the work, but the clamps don't get in your way. You don't have to worry about finding an edge. It just slides right into those tracks, tighten them down, you're good to go. So that is a huge plus on this table for me. Not only that, you can adjust that up and down the track to put that really wherever you want. All right, so let me show you what these other clamps are for. We're gonna take a two by four. We're gonna cut about an inch off of each side here and we're gonna make a router table. Now the reason I'm taking about an inch off of each side is because I want that to sit flush on the table. It's actually going to be used as the fence. Now before we can actually put these down on, we actually have to modify this a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spade bit or you can use a regular drill bit, doesn't really matter. We gotta drill some holes, we gotta line them up with those slots right there. Now we're going to insert those bolts, tighten it down. So we found our mark here and look, I'm actually using my clamp right there to hold this piece in. And let's just drill a hole right here, we'll flip it over, put another one in. We'll take this back over to the table saw, cut out our notch for the router bit. All right, there you go, really easy to do. Now let's attach it. So we're going to take those clamps right there, we're going to put one in this track and then we're going to put one on the other track. Now all we gotta do is place this right on top of like so. That lines up pretty good. Now you got your router fence, you take those knobs up on top, you tighten it down. Now you can use this as a router table. How cool is that? Now I will tell you this, I found a little issue with the tracks. The one on the left hand side it's a little bit tight. I noticed that the screw is actually hitting up against the track where the one on the right, it slides a little bit easier than the one on the left. Now check this one out on the right, it actually glides nice and smooth, making the fence able to be moved. But the one on the left here, that bolt is actually touching the fence. The gap is a little too small. Disappointed in that. 
Now to be fair, we did try this on a second table and the second table alignment was fine. This one here was the one that gave us issues, but at the end of the day, they should all work fine. Now as far as it goes with the router plates, very simple to install and take out, and move around and do what you need to do, change them out if you need to change them. That was really cool, you get three of them all together in this little kit here. These are located in the box underneath. The R1 is 0.49 inches, the R2 is 1.18 inches, and the R3 is 1.77 inches. Now, as far as it goes with Bill, this thing is pretty heavy duty. It supports the 1,500 pounds. I would have no issue putting a table saw or a miter saw up on top of this table. Now, that being said, I would not lean anything heavy up against the side of this as I don't think it would support it. And once you're done using it, just put the legs back up underneath. You got that nice carrying handle. Everything is very light at only about 19 and a half pounds. That makes it very easy to store, even if you have the one by eight by three foot table surface area. At the end of the day, I really like this portable worksite table. The biggest downside for me on this table is the fence for the router table. Even if you get those to glide nice and smooth. Once you put that fence down, it is still hard to move. You have to get it out, adjust your clamps, and then set it down again. I don't like that, but everything else is very good. I love the bar clamps that are sold separately. Just makes everything so much easier. It's very portable, very light. I think there's a lot of different uses for it. I would recommend it. I'm only gonna give it a four star, not a five because of that fence. But if you like this video, Thumbs up, subscribe, check us out at www.tourviewzone.com and we will be back with more videos soon.